Welcome to our talk show, United States of Contula, a talk show where two Americans <laughs> talk about living in Finland, focusing on the district of Contula. My name is Ilse, and I will be your host for today. And we have a guest here, hello, hello. Uh, in the studio, Wheeler Ellsworth. <laughs> How are you doing, Wheeler? Yeah, I'm just fine. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, um, everything's good. Yeah, it's nice to be here. Thank you yeah. so much mm -hmm. for being here yeah, with us. Yeah, they are. It's really great. Everybody's and, uh, been trying. If you don't yeah. mind, we'll jump right into yeah. it. Yeah, just, uh, yeah. So please tell us, where are you from? Okay, well, I was born in Washington, D.C., uh, May 26, 1950, so I just had a birthday Friday. <laughs> Happy uh, birthday. Yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, and uh, I was involved in the Finnish community after meeting a Finnish woman there, and, and we lived together and then got married. Uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> so I was involved in the Finnish community there. I was a member of the Finlandia Foundation there, Wonderful. and uh, where Finnish people could, if they could visit Washington, we were on a list of people that they, we would accommodate, and that's why I helped quite a few of them that came through. And then also, uh, I, I was involved with Finnish Language School, which was a school that was st started by some Finns back in 1980, I helped them with the logistics and things like that and oh. became one of their first students. So, so you were really yeah. involved with Oh Finland yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Finnish yeah, yeah, yeah. Culture. It had a lot to do with why I ended up That's moving great. here when my wife wanted to come here. And you have lived in Contula, you have told me, for how long? Well, yeah, actually I lived in, uh, I moved, when I moved here, we lived in Ada first, uh, right. Right, right near Cairo Puisto, and then uh, I, later I moved out to, uh, out to uh, uh, Mama Cartano, me and my wife separated some years later and I moved out to Mama Cartano and then uh, to Contula about 15 finally, years ago. Yeah, yeah. So 15 so, years ago. Yeah, wow. well, yeah. I came here in 87 already. Yeah, 1987 with my ex-wife. And yeah. what was your first impression of Contula? Yeah, well, you know, first of all, uh, Ada was a good place to come to because the first move here, you know, to adjust from the States because, you know, right. people were a little more liberal there and things and a little, little more, how should I say, more cosmopolitan. Then later when I moved to Marmacar Town, I found it quite, actually quite friendly place, you know, yeah. And what about the people of Contula? Were yeah, they also, as you say, cosmopolitan, you would say, or no, a bit not, different? <laughs> not really at all, I'll be honest about it. Uh, yeah, no, Contula I found, uh, yeah, I, in terms of socially, I've, I haven't found it to be a particularly friendly place. Although my environment, where I live, is nice. There I live in Kiviko, and I have a really nice view from my apartment, and. Wow. Uh, over a park and everything, and it's really... Was it different yeah. from Washington, Contula? What were the... Oh, yeah, yeah, you can't compare. No, no, Washington is, <laughs> very a, you know, Washington is very, yeah. you know, international city. Yeah, you know, all the world's embassies are there and that kind of thing, 200 embassies, lots and lots of people from all over the world. I went to high school already right. with foreign and kids and things. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, said yeah. 15 years. That's yeah, quite yeah. a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I moved there in, 19, in 2002, and, uh, yeah, it was, yeah, I mean... Yeah, like I say, I don't have any problems with the actual living environment, but, uh, you know, uh, people I, I haven't really... That's very really, interesting, yeah, yeah, and yeah. I definitely want to hear more. Yeah, okay. uh, we're going to yeah. talk more soon, but first we're going to watch a video about Riley Haltunen, a lady who's lived in Contula since 1967. So we're going to go ahead and watch that video okay. now. Yeah. I'm Riley Haltunen. Oh. Viime kesänä täyttänyt 85 vuotta. Mun piti ompelia ruveta. Mä olin ammattikoulun käynyt ja siellä tuli semmoinen asia esiin, että mä en pystykään mustaa enkä tummaa siis mitään tämmöistä ompelemaan semmoista. Että mulla on hirveän vaikeaa nähdä tummaa edelleenkin. No, Sitten mä ajattelin, että pakkohan mun tehdä muutos nyt ja tota, sit mä hain tota, kauppakouluun. Tuo oli toinen vaihtoehto, mitä mä niin olisin halunnut. Ja, no sit mä pääsin sinne ja kaksi vuotta kävin ja sit sen jälkeen mä olin toimistotöissä. Olin Strömberillä ensin ja sit mä olin Arospuvussa ja sitten Valmetilla. Näin toimistojuttuja. Me Valmettilaiset muutettiin sitten innolla tänne vuonna 1967 syksyllä marraskuussa. Lehdistä hän kirjoitti vaan Kontulasta aina huono. Aina Kontula. Ja työpaikalla, kun ne kuuli sitten, että Kontula muuttaa ja kaikki. Kuinka kauhe, kuinka sä uskaat. Mä sanoin, herra, jästä sen tähtö. Mitä mä nyt rupean pelkäämään, että katella ensin. 
Ja nyt kun tuli näitä pakolaisia, niin miehiä on tuolla ostalla kyllä hirveästi. Ja sitten meillä on mustalaisia ja väittävät, että siellä on niinku levotonta, mutta en mä, en mä koskaan joutunut mihinkään. Mutta sen on huomannut, että siellä on tosiaan tota väkeä välillä. Ja sitten siellä on huumeiden käyttäjiä. Ei ole mitään, mä en ole kokenut minkäänlaista häiriötä. Et vaikka kuinka täällä on vuokralaisia paljon, että et tämä seutu on kyllä rauhallista. Mä en ymmärtänyt ollenkaan tämmöistä kauheita metroa rakentamaan. Kal- se kallis se tämmöinen. Mutta kyllä mä sitten mä sanon, kun mä ensimmäisen kerran pääsin metro, metrolautosta, kun me tultiin Vuosaaresta bussilla tuohon itikseen ja vaihdettiin metroon. Ja sitten kun pääsin metroon rautatietorille asti, silloin mä katsoin, että hulluhan mä oon ollut. Että onneksi huomasin, huomasin sen, että kuinka hyvä se oli. Eikä ikinä enää ajattelisi, että metro opettaisi. Mikaelin seurakunta Salin kerhohuoneessa. Mä kuulun tuohon käsittelemään kerhoon ja mä oon koko elämäni ommelut. <laughs> mä oon ihan kahdeksan vuotiaasta asti niin oppinut parsimaan ja tekemään. Että mä oon silloin jo parsinut omat kaikki vaatteeni, mitä kinnat, kentat, sukat, puserot ja sitten aina vähän muidenkin ja, ja kaikki tämmöistä. Että se on ollut mulle niinku semmoista ihan luontaista. Mutta täällä on semmoinen hyvä ilmapiiri. Ja aina on sitä, no ensin tämä harta, aamuhartaus on ja sitten tulee tämä päivän ohje, tai viikon ohjelmatiedot tämmöiset. Mä en nyt jaksa niin paljon käydä enää muualla, mutta tämä on niinku tärkeää, että täällä mä haluan käydä. Että tämä on semmoinen ilon, iloinen porukka. Paljon sattuu semmoisia, kun kau- täällä on kauan asunut, niin naamat tulee tutuksi. Ja et tervehditään, vaikka ei tunnetakaan. Et sillä lailla ilos- iloisia ihmisiä, että mä en ole koskaan kukaan ole sanonut mulle pahaa sanaa. Ja olen viihtynyt tosi hyvin. Et tervetuloa. And we are back. <laughs> Uh, so Wheeler, what were your first thoughts about the video? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, um, I think I've seen Riley there around, well, walking around the country club. But anyway, really, you you've seen her around. I think I see her around. <laughs> yeah. I think she looked familiar. But <laughs> anyway, uh, again, you know, um, I yeah yeah, she, her experience is a bit different from mine. Of course, she's Finnish. I'm an immigrant from the U.S. You know, African American, and uh, well, uh, you know, I've I've c- encountered unfortunately quite a bit of hostility. You know. And, and around Kontala, you know, a lot of Somali, this, Somali, that, which actually for me is a bit of a compliment, believe it or not, because I find uh, Somali people really quite good looking people. So it's like, <laughs> hey, good looking to me, you know, because, you know, because uh, <laughs> the women are really beautiful, actually. I mean, even they're, they're Muslim and they're covered and everything with the cloth. So but you've uh, experienced yeah. a bit more of hostility because it seems she had more of a yeah, positive yeah, attitude. Yeah, very positive. Yeah, yeah. No, not, no, that's, I'm not, uh, in a way it's been opposite. Yeah, you know, but okay, I mean, uh, I'm a big boy. I can handle it, you know. Uh, that, I, one thing I like about the area is uh, nearby Mutapiro, the gym there, I go there and it's really, ex- so I have some things have changed have within your 15 there. years of living there. Well, uh, yeah, yeah, yes no. <laughs> not, not so much. Yeah, nah, you know, I really, I'm not a big fan of the social scene there. Mm-hmm. Mama Cartano was a lot hipper, although that was quite a long time ago, so maybe that's changed too, but nah. Yeah. Would you say it still has the same bad reputation as it did, uh, like they mentioned in the video? Oh, uh, yeah, the reputation thing. I encountered that too when I first moved there, but no, it's it's quite a pleasant place to live uh, physically. Yeah, no, it's, you know, there's some really beautiful areas around. I bike around there because I ride bicycle all the time. Right. And uh, bike, no, no, it's been the exact opposite of what I heard because when, when I first was going to move to Entopi, oh, no, they're going to, they shoot out there, they kill you. They'll just, <laughs> but and that no, has not been the case nah, for nah, you. Nah, 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 it's not And do you have, like, yet, your no. local bakery shop that you go to or, you know, your 
your coffee, you know, you go get your coffee in the morning. Or nah, I make my own pula. coffee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. No, I, no, what, I I, what I'm saying is, gym, like, is there yeah, a community yeah. feeling yeah. sense to uh, Pompula? Nah, not, not that I belong to, no, nah, not really, no, nah, no, nah, no. Nah. Really? In all these 15 years? Yeah, the gym. I like to go to the gym. That's what I do there. That's why I, I like okay. to, yeah, yeah. So that's yeah. good that they've yeah. added gyms now then, at least. Yeah, the gym, <laughs> I don't know how long the gym's been there, but uh, <laughs> it was a factory before some years ago. But I started going to the gym there about 10 years ago, and that's okay. been really positive. So it's yeah. growing. There are more things changing there, yeah, would you yeah, say? Yeah, yeah, perhaps, yeah, yeah, yeah. perhaps, yeah. Would yeah, you want yeah. to change something of Contula, if you could? Yeah, I, I think... Uh, I more like Americans? More nah, immigration, just more, just more, more people, people being more open, more friendly, okay. more cheerful. Because I'm kind of an open, fair. cheerful person, you know. <laughs> so I think people around there maybe don't look at me like that, but I am, you know. Yeah, you know, that's, yeah, that's yeah. That's my culture. Yeah. And uh, what would you say a typical person who lives in Contula is like? Uh, Could you answer that question? Yeah. Uh, well, they're quite conservative, obviously. Yeah, you know, they could be maybe a little more open-minded for sure. Uh, can you uh, yeah. um, explain maybe a situation or how have you oh, come yeah, to this yeah. thought? Oh, yeah, I got a good situation. I got a good <laughs> example. For instance, this one uh, young, she's of Iranian background, girl, young girl I used to talk to. Just, you know, she was really chatty and spoke really good English. We used to chat. I mean, you know, I was old enough to be her grandfather. So it wasn't just, you know, we just talked. Anyway, so, but she used to tell me, Wheeler, this is a story on you here in Kontula. You're, you're a Somali who, who pretends you're American, you're crazy, blah, 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 blah. And again, wow. like I say, you know, uh, that Somali thing, folks, that's, you know, I don't, that doesn't bother me because I find Somali right. people to be very, quite pleasant. And, so there's and, some hostility. And black like me, you know. <laughs> okay, so yeah. I, what yeah. I'm saying is there's some hostility still. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, mm. too much hostility. Yeah, it's too much. So you would change way, yeah. maybe that, the yeah, environment that, yeah, being exactly, more like open and friendly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's what I, as I just said, that's right. That's, that's the only problem. Yeah, that's the only problem. Yeah. You know? yeah, yeah, yeah. And to end, I guess, in a more of a positive yeah. note, uh, positive. Wh what is the best thing about Contula? What do you say? It seems yeah. biking around. Yeah, the the very like I said, the, the physical environment. Yeah, it's 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 it's, it's quite nice. Yeah, you, you bike around, and yeah, the, the, some of the neighborhoods. Like right. you take that uh, there's one part of Contula there over by the, uh, by the there's a big park. On uh, I guess it'd be I guess that would be like western part of Contula there, mm. you know, adjacent to like Middle Middle uh, Middle Mackey and that. Yeah, okay. I bike through there. It's quite it's a nice. Lot of parks and, yeah, yeah. Nearby. Yeah, a lot some of nature. parks and things, and yeah, That's some great. parks and things. More when I moved there. It was quite, well, actually where I actually lived was a big forest that, but okay. it's gone now. They knocked it down years ago. And do you but, think you yeah. you yourself have changed living there? Your perspective on life, or just your personality? Yeah, uh, no, nah, not 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 influenced by no. by uh, Contula. No, no, no. Or Finland yeah, in general. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, Finland. Well, Finland. Uh, <laughs> I had a lot of hope. I had a lot of hope when I moved here to Finland. I'm kind of a little bit. It's kind of a little bit waning, you know. I, again, you know, Helsinki is the capital city yeah. of this country, and I think that. I think people, great things yeah, are yeah. happening. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 P p perhaps and, I um, haven't. The seen show is so actually much about to end, and I just want to yeah, um, yeah, end yeah, here yeah, and say yeah, thank okay. you so much for coming in. We really appreciate it, yeah, and thank you thank for you. speaking oh, to yeah, me. I appreciate, I've a lot. I appreciate you allowing me to be honest. Yeah, and, yeah, so and yeah, thank you so much for watching. Yeah, thank you. And I hope to see you soon.